So let's do a notes receivable and a couple of transactions with respect to that. Skylar Corporation has a December 31st year end, uses a perpetual inventory system and prepares adjusting entries annually at year end. What are the journal entries for the company for 2025 and 2026 for these transactions, assuming any payments owing on the note are paid on time? So let's start with number one. September 1, 2025. Sold 100 units of product A to Laura Limited, receiving a five month 9% $10,000 note. The cost of the units sold totaled $3,000. Laura will pay interest and principal at maturity. So September 1, great, we sold a product, product A. We sold it not on account, not for cash. We sold it using getting a note in return. So debit note receivable for $10,000 and credit sales. This is a perpetual inventory system. So we also need to record the movement of our inventory from inventory for $3,000 to cost of goods sold. Now I do wanna make a note here that this is a five month note. So that means September, October, November, December, January, so February 1st, 2026 is when it should be repaid and it is 9% per year. Laura is only gonna pay interest in principal at maturity, so we are not gonna have any transactions with cash involved on this until February 1st, 2026. So number two on December 1st, and because there's no payments going on, there's nothing in between these two transactions with respect to the notes. December 1st, we received a four month, 3% $20,000 note on account from Alexandria Corporation. Alexandria is gonna pay interest monthly on the first day of each month. Okay, so this one's a little tricky because it's saying we received a note on account. If we had received cash on account, which isn't the case here, but if we had received cash on account, it would have been debit cash, credit accounts receivable for the $20,000. Okay, well, we didn't receive cash on account, but I wanna use this same journal entry. So we are going to remove it from accounts receivable because we received it on account. We received the amount from account, but instead we received a note. So it is note receivable as our debit, not cash, for $20,000. This note is 3% for four months. So four months, we're at December 1st. So that'll be December, January, February, March. So they're gonna pay us on April 1st. And the interest rate for this note is 3% per year. So not 3% for the four months, 3% per year. Okay, so they're gonna make payments monthly on the first day of each month, which means the first interest payment will be due January 1st, 2026. So January 1, 2026, they'll pay us cash February 1, cash, etc. But we're here at December 1st, so no more transactions for December. Until we get to December 31st, this is the company's year end. At this point, we need to accrue anything owing to us. and things that we owe to other people. We need to accrue it and put in our financial statements. So we have these two notes. We have the $10,000 note, which is at 9%. And September, October, November, and December have gone by. So that's four months of interest that we have earned and is owing to us. So that's $300. And on the $20,000 note, which is at 
just a pretty much an entire month has gone by so that is fifty dollars so at year end and i'm just going to do one journal entry for it at year end there are companies that we have notes receivable from they're going to pay us that we have earned income on so we are going to debit interest receivable and we are going to credit interest revenue we haven't received the amount here it isn't due today but we have earned it over the past number of months depending on the note so therefore we need to record that it's owing to us and put it on our income statement as interest revenue interest revenue interest income investment income those are usually all acceptable so the next thing that happens is we get to january 2026 and on january 2026 january 1 um, this note for $20,000, they're going to owe us their first payment of interest. So this is $50 because every month they're going to pay us interest. So they're going to pay us $50, but we also accrued that amount at year end. So this is already accrued. This is the next day they pay us in cash. So we are going to receive cash of $50 and we are going to credit interest receivable because we have already set it up at your end as a receivable here when we did this entry. So we're going to reverse it out of there. February 1, 2026, same thing because we're gonna receive cash monthly from this company. So cash of $50. This time though, it's gonna to go to interest revenue because we have already got the one out of our year end. Now we're in the new year. This is income we've earned in the current year. The other thing that happens on February 1 is we receive payment of this other note. We said here February 1st is when they're going to pay us. They owe us the $10,000 plus any interest to date. Interest again was at 9% per year. So also on February 1st, we're gonna receive cash for this Laura note, which is $10,000 plus interest. We are going to credit the note receivable because we have full pay, received the full amount now, the $10,000. We are gonna credit interest. Now, some of the interest was accrued at year end and some of it is going to be interest earned in the current year, in the 2026 year. So how much? Well, if the note was for $10,000, 9% interest rate, it's a five month note. So five divided by 12, the $375 is the amount in total that we're gonna receive. So $10,375. If we go back to year end, we can see here that we did accrue $300, the four months worth of this interest. So interest receivable was $300 and $75 would go to interest revenue because that's the amount we're earning in the current year. March 1st, we receive the interest again, debit cash for $50, credit interest revenue for $50. The other notes already been paid. We go to April 1st. And this is now them paying us our whole amount owing. We are going to receive cash of the $50, which is the current month's interest, plus the amount of the note itself. So $20,050. we are going to credit note receivable for the amount we initially put in there that they owed us. And we will credit interest revenue because this current $50 is the amount we earned this month. And that's it for transactions because now both notes have been fully paid.